Good morning, Spencer. On January 15th of this year, you posted on Facebook that you were going to plan a vacation to somewhere you'd never been and ask your friends for suggestions of where to go. Before you'd even decided, I commented, can I come? And you said, yes. I almost didn't get to go due to work reasons, but on August 31st, after you'd already booked your flight and room for a week in Florida the end of September, I tried again, and success. Let the sibling adventures commence. I got up before 3 a.m. for my first flight ever. Yep. I was more nervous about security and getting on the plane successfully than about flying itself. Burlington staff are super friendly, though. First time flyer, you get some wings too. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. For takeoff, I pointed the camera and my eyes forward and only realized afterward that watching the ground disappear might have been more interesting. We'll call that symbolism though. I looked forward as I took off towards vacation, and you'll see in a few videos that I looked backwards as I left. Flying was amazing. I cried a little at how beautiful it was. I saw rivers of clouds, oceans of clouds, and the most amazing sunrise. The first flight was just a little hop, and soon I was in New York. Bit of a wait there, and then up in the air again. This is only the second time I've been on a plane this morning with my first flight. So, uh, I'm a little excited. Have you guys been on a lot of planes? No, this is the second time. That's your second time, too? <laughs> wow, I can see the whole country from here. Oh. That's Madison, my seat buddy. Her mom was occupied with a one-year-old on her lap. So Madison talked to me quite a bit. I could jump from that to that. She was fascinated by my two cameras. I showed her one of my favorite cloud pictures so far, and she said, That's not clouds, that's an ocean. An ocean of clouds, maybe, I replied, to which she said, Huh? <laughs> Welcome to Metaphor, hun. She told me she was moving to Florida that day. I said, I'm from Vermont and just visiting Florida. She said, Vermont? What animals live there? I said squirrels and deer, and she didn't seem impressed, so of course I told her the story of the Wampahoofus on the spot. Her face was so hilariously confused that I finally broke down and said, he's a make-believe animal, but he definitely lives in Vermont. I felt like I was channeling my grandfather because I also showed Madison how I can wiggle my ears. Now that impressed her. For the rest of the ride, she'd say, look, are my ears wiggling? And I'd say, you're getting there, keep practicing. Oh, Madison, I hope you're having a good time in Florida and that you keep those ears wiggling. At the end of the flight, I just melted into the crowd so as not to be a creeper. I think I heard her mother say, say thank you, but I was already gone. If anyone knows a Madison who moved to Florida on September 24th in 2016, tell her thank you from me. I rode a shuttle back to the terminal and it started to sink in how much of another world I was in. I spent a lot of the time in the airport waiting for my brother, looking up the differences in plant life between Florida and Vermont. Did you know Florida has seven native species of pine, none of which are native to Vermont? I also listened to some Dear Hank and John. Then Spencer landed, and I found him, and that was pretty much the end of our adventures for that day because travel is tiring. Next up, Sunday, in which we meet some locals. 